So launching Amphion. Amphion, in very simple words, is a digital tech-enabled asset management company which manages primarily EVs and the complete infra around it for various fleet customers. It was a business we were building in stealth mode since last two years. Today, we're close to 2,500 EV assets on road, connecting 600 charging points, uh, managing a 100 crore asset under management altogether for 150 plus fleets, having a turnaround time of almost 2.7 days uh, on any sort of servicing needs, growing 20 to 30% month on month. So a business that we've been trying to understand, we've been optimizing, and we've been scaling in the last two years, now holistically packaged in a product called Amphion. To now look at what exactly are we solving. So for a fleet first, reliability and servicing. As I said, for example, if you pick up any e-commerce company or any organized logistics SLA, it will say maximum two days of downtime. Two days of servicing is all that is needed, is all that is allowed. Beyond that, there are penalties, etc. So we manage that uptime. We manage that through data to predict when is something going to go wrong, starting with the battery, to the motor, to the vehicle. To as low as, for example, if we see that the energy efficiency is not good, maybe your tire pressure is off. So accounting all of that so that your operations run smoothly. Uptime guarantees, we make sure, we commit to you that you know this is the maximum that we will, that there'll be a maintenance of two days, for example, nothing beyond that. Everything else is on us. Iterative product improvement. Now coming to the DNA of Log9, which passes on to Amphion. Uh, engineering first approach towards all problems. For us, it's not as simple. As we don't act like a financer that we pick the product, we send it to a service station, and the OEM fixes it. We today, out of the 100 people team that we have across 26 cities, 60 people are on the ground managing servicing of these vehicles at either hubs of customers or on the road. So making sure whatever problem we find, rather than just fixing it, doing a permanent corrective action on the product so that the frequency goes down, that's where data comes into being. Financing and residual value, so we facilitated a lot of different type of innovative financing structures for these assets. We were the first ones in the country who started a, a buyback guarantee on EVs. Uh, the three-wheeler that we launched two and a half years back, it was the first product which had a minimum buyback guarantee with it. We actually give you predictable data around state of health, which helps you in resale marketplace for these products, and various innovative asset financing models. Charging infra. Now, if you look at the last mile segment, the whole charging infra is a very broken space because a last mile player will have multiple different type of products with them. Starting from a two-wheeler to a three-wheeler to a four-wheeler, different form factors, different charging protocols. All of this needs very planned charging infra to be deployed and to be aggregated amongst multiple fleet operators. For a fleet operator to put up a charger themselves and then manage it as a task, so we bring in CPO partners and we aggregate multiple different fleet partners, predict where the demand will be, and then deploy the charging infra. Increasing utilization, because we continuously tap into the charging infra data that come through our, to, uh, our central command center, we make sure that we route traffic in a way or we give that nudge to a customer saying, hey, this charger is idle, this charger has more capacity within this time period, why don't you use it? And seamless charging experience. For example, with our partner Pulse, we were the first one who started WhatsApp-based charging. So you can pay, a driver can simply pay by WhatsApp and start charging. Now the next thing actually would be plug and charge. You don't need to open anything. There's simply data going from your battery directly to cloud and your charging starts. Business insight. So we started realizing that for a fleet to uh, earn to earn a profit, they need to run as much kilometers as possible. But Traditionally, logistics used to be managed in a way where the owner of the company used to just look at, at the end of the month, the accounts, and used to say, did I make a profit, did I not? Where was I leaking? What With EV, that actually problem gets solved because now you have real-time data into seeing how much of your vehicles are being run. Secondly, what we did was we, we, we did the fleet management part of it, that software, the tracking software from a top-to-bottom approach, keeping the fleet in mind rather than the driver. So you can create cohorts. Or for example, if you have five fleets across Lucknow, Kanpur, you can simply click on Lucknow and see holistically how is Lucknow performing for you. Rather than seeing, okay, how is this driver performing for you, which there is a flow and you can go to that, but you can holistically see how a supervisor is performing for you or how a city is performing for you. Energy efficiency, so as all of us know, there's a lot of, it's an energy intensive business, right from making an EV to charging it, 
So we realized that there's a lot of optimization that can happen into it. The first one, which we already talked about, while you make an EV, there's a lot of energy which is already going into making that EV, right from the battery to the vehicle. The more that vehicle runs on the road, the more you're actually using those either energy, carbon that went into making that. So our first SLA is which is to make sure that the vehicle is up, that actually solves for that. Secondly, after that, we work on a lot of, so basically our predictive maintenance works on predicting or seeing and analyzing how is the energy efficiency of your vehicle. Are you, because of some reason, consuming more energy in the vehicle? So using that data to tell you, okay, let's fix this, or to get it internally with our team who then goes and fixes it and make sure that you are within a band of energy efficiency so that your range is optimum. Though for a customer it's only range, but what we say is if you solve for that, you solve for the amount of energy you consume for every kilometer run. Driver score, another algorithm we're creating wherein the idea is to take into, so it, this is not purely a business uh, metric wherein you say, okay, this driver worked well, delivered so much. The metric is, it's technical, so you see how much of currents is your driver using. What SOC is he taking his vehicle to charge at? What state of charge? All of this actually helps you in optimizing the way your battery runs, which makes sure that your energy efficiencies are very good. So now all of this is controlled by a lot of backend tech layers that we've built, uh, right from managing those assets to triggering service to managing that turnaround time to tracking these vehicles. All of that converge into a single platform, which we wanted to show everyone today, which, act, which is the, the single platform that a fleet operator can use to see all of these backend operations with which we surround them to make sure that they run well. Enter the world of smarter EV asset management with a comprehensive platform offered by Amphion to empower fleet operators and financiers with the tools and insights they need to succeed. Fleet operators and drivers can access a wealth of real-time data through the Fleet Operator slash Drive Dashboard. This dashboard provides a clear overview of the entire fleet, including the total number of vehicles, active vehicles, inactive vehicles, and daily kilometers traveled. Stay ahead of maintenance schedules by monitoring vehicles under repair or undergoing service. For electric fleets, optimize charging schedules and ensure vehicles are always ready to roll with easy access to charging station locations. Get the help you need quickly and easily with the built-in support ticket system. Now let's delve deeper into fleet performance with the Vehicle Analytics Dashboard. This powerful tool equips the user with granular insights to optimize operations and make data-driven decisions. Instantly categorize your fleet by type, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, and four-wheelers with a clear count of each in your fleet. Track the real-time location of every vehicle on a map, enabling better route planning and resource allocation. Monitor the battery type of each vehicle, ensuring efficient charging strategies. Analyze charging behavior with details like slow and fast charging session counts and charging and discharging cycles, among others. The user can also get a detailed custom comparison chart by clicking on the link. Further, there are detailed sub-dashboards for a number of topics, such as Charging Infrastructure Overview Replay Trend Forecasting Real-time Alerts Allows the user to stay informed with instant notifications about battery status changes from normal to warning, alarm, and even critical, ensuring timely intervention and preventing costly breakdowns. The dashboard also offers detailed reports for a number of areas from GPS, IoT error, etc. to charging sessions and non-running vehicles. Charging Session Report gives the user comprehensive insights into fast and slow charging sessions. 
Vehicle Run Period gives the user detailed breakdown of how much distance the vehicles have covered on a daily basis. With Amphion's Vehicle Analytics, the users have the power to transform fleet management from reactive to proactive, make informed decisions, optimize resources, and unlock the full potential of their fleet.